Hi, my name is Kirk Fleming. I'm an EMT and paramedic student, and I also have over 30 years experience working as an insurance company mathematician. I thought it would be helpful if I worked through some problems, uh, some med math problems, and just show step by step how you would do the calculations. I'm going to recommend a website called Paramedic Pearls and Pitfalls. It's produced by Chris Johnson, who's a paramedic and paramedic instructor down in Florida. Chris has on his website 20 problems that he routinely gives his students to work through. I'm going to use those as a basis uh, for problems to go through and uh, actually do the calculations. Chris recommends a master formula. It's the desired dose times the patient's weight in kilograms times the drip set being used divided by the concentration of the medication times time. That you can think of as DD times W times DS divided by C times T. Or a mnemonic would be Dunkin' Donuts was dropping sugar over their coffee and tea. The advantage to this formula, it's the only formula that you will need. Uh, you uh, memorize this one formula and then you use the pieces that are presented in your problem. You can ignore the rest of the pieces. Um, that's what I'm going to be using in this video to work through the problems. <clears throat> the first video dealt with drawing up uh, medications in a syringe. This second video deals with adding the weight, uh, weight-based calculations uh, for medications, and the last video is going to deal with drip rates. First, a quick comment on weights. Uh, in our class, when we talk about weights, the uh, I've, I'll say there's two ways that I've seen people talk, convert pounds to kilograms. And the traditional way, or the more exact way, is to uh, divide by 2.2, and I'll just say that's roughly 73 kilograms. It's not exact. Um, in our class, when we are told to convert weight, we're being instructed to divide by 2. And uh, I can see a couple of advantages to using 2 versus the 2.2. First of all, the 160 that you're being given is an estimate. It's either you're guessing the patient's weight or the patient uh, telling you their weight. And, and I've noticed that there seems to be a tendency, at least on my part, to underestimate the weight. And certainly there's a tendency uh, for the patients to underestimate their weight. And by dividing by two, you actually come up with higher kilograms, which may be more exact uh, to the patient's true weight. Uh, the other advantage is it's a lot easier to divide by two than 2.2. And when you're starting out with an estimate to begin with, why try to use the more exact formula when uh, uh, the two is much easier to use? So um, I, I could think of other arguments to use. I'm just going to stop with those and get right to the problems. But as I do the problems, I'm going to be dividing by 2. If in your training class or your program you divide by 2.2, uh, definitely uh, use what you've been taught to do. First problem. You're responsible for providing the proper dose of Atomidate to your partner so that he can initiate the RSI procedure for your patient. Uh, the patient weighs an approximate or an estimated 160 pounds. You are to draw up 0 0.3 milligrams per kilograms of Atomidate into the appropriate syringe. How many milligrams are required? How many milliliters will you have to draw up? How many vials will be required? So Atomidate comes in 20 milligram per 10 mLs uh, vials. Let's see. Let's write down all the information that we have so far. Uh, the patient's weight weight is equal to 160 pounds. And I'm going to divide by 2 to get 80 kilograms. The desired dose is 0 0.3 milligrams per kilogram. And the concentration of the drug is 20 milligrams and 10 mLs. So let's write all that in the formula. The desired dose is 0 0.3 milligrams per kilogram 
times the patient's weight, 80 kilograms, all divided by the concentration, 20 milligrams per 10 mLs. And working that out, let's see, uh, the 0 0.3 times 80, that works out to 24 milligrams, kilograms cross off. Uh, here we'll, simp we'll simplify this to get it into uh, milligrams per mL, so this works out to be uh, 2 milligrams per mL. I'm going to just divide it each side by 10. And so the final answer is 12, oops, 12 milliliters, milligrams cross off. So uh, this, we have all the answers to the questions at this point that we were asked. First, they asked how many milligrams are going to be are going to be required. That was the 24. Then they asked how many milliliters will we be supplying. That's the 12. And then they asked how many vials are going to be needed. Well, we see that each vial has 10 milliliters in it. We need 12 in total. That means we're going to need two vials. All right, first question done. Let's do the next one. Now the patient is asleep and you give your partner the syringe of the succinylcholine that you drew up based upon the patient's weight. The dose is 1.5 milligrams per kilogram. How many milligrams are required? How many, milligram, how many milliliters did you put in the syringe? The succinylcholine comes in vials that have 200 milligrams in 10 mLs. Let's write out the problem one more time. Uh, the patient weighs, this is the same patient, they weigh 160. So weight is equal to 160 pounds. And we're going to multiply, oops, divide by 2. Divide by, hmm, my pen's not working here right now. Divide by 2, and that's going to equal uh, 80 kilograms. The desired dose is 1.5 milligrams per kilograms, and the concentration is 200 milligrams in 10 mLs. Let's do the write out the formula: 1.5 milligrams per kilogram times the 80 kilograms, all divided by 200 milligrams per 10 mLs. Let's see, I'll do the calculation up here, the math, in case people are having trouble with the math. 1.5, uh, 0, and 40 and then just 80, so 120, 0, and 1 decimal point. So the uh, 1.5 times 80 kilograms is 120 milligrams. And here I'm going to divide each side by uh, 10, so I can end up with 20 milligrams per milliliter. Twenty into one hundred and twenty equals six milliliters. So this is the amount of milliliters that we're going to draw up. One hundred and twenty is the amount of uh, milligrams of the medication that we're going to draw up. All right. Next question. So if you have trouble uh, following these calculations, I, I would recommend go back and look at the first video. Um, where it, you, you can see how this, once you do the patient's weight times the desired dose that's weight-based, you end up uh, basically a, a very simple formula. It's just desired dose divided by concentration. All right, question number three. Uh, 
was still working with the same patient. Now it's time for the Vecaronium to be administered to the previous patient. The dose is 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram. How many milligrams are required and how many mLs are in the syringe? And Vecaronium comes in vials that are 10 milligrams per 10 milliliters. Okay, patient's weight once again is 160 pounds divided by 2.2 uh, divided by 2 equals 80 kilograms. The desired dose is 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram. And the concentration we said is 10 milligrams in 10 M mLs. So let's put that in the formula. We have 0 0.01 milligrams per kilogram times the 80 kilograms divided by 10 milligrams per 10 mLs. Um, I'll, I'll do the math up here. Uh, we have 80 times the 0 0.01. And that's just a, a 80. And we have two decimal points we have to move over, so 1, 2. So that's 0 0.8 milligrams divided by 1 milligram per ml, which is equal to 0 0.8 mLs. Okay, so the dosage that we uh, uh, had to draw up was uh, 0.8 milligrams, and uh, uh, the uh, amount of fluid that we would draw up in the syringe is 0 0.8 milliliters. Next problem. <coughs> and this is the last problem in this set. Let's see. All right. You have a patient in SVT, refractory to adenosine. You decide to administer 0 0.25 milligrams per kilograms of Diltiazem IV push. I'm not familiar with that medication. I'm probably mispronouncing it. And the patient weighs 130 pounds. How many milliliters will you draw up? All right. Our patient weighs, uh, weight is 130 pounds. So that's uh, 65 kilos or kilograms. The uh, uh, let's see the uh, desired dose uh, we want 0 0.25 milligrams per kilogram, and the concentration for this medication is 25 milligrams per 5 mLs. Putting everything into the formula, let's see, we have uh, 0 0.25 milligrams per kilogram times 65 kilograms over the concentration 25 milligrams per 5 mL. Right. I'm going to move this down a little bit so I can have some room for uh, calculations. First, 0 0.25 times the 65. I'll, I'll do that out. 65.25. Uh, That's 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 30. Uh, five to, 6 times 5 is 30. And 
uh, we have the, the additional 2. This is 10, carry the 1, 2 times 6 is 12, that's 13. So that works out to 13.25 13.25 milligrams. <coughs> Oops, I made a mistake. This should be 16 over here, 16.25. Kilograms, and then uh, this should be five milligrams over one mL. So the last thing I have to divide five into the sixteen point two five. Five goes into sixteen. Oops, it is. Five goes into sixteen three and five goes into twelve twice and and five goes into twenty five five times. So this would be equal to three point two five milliliters or we can just round it up 3.3 .3 milliliters. As one of my instructors would say, go high or go home. All right, there we go. And I just found one more problem, so <laughs> I lied before. So this is, uh, let, let me get this one. All right, you are resuscitating a patient who is in cardiac arrest with a rhythm of ventricular fibrillation. You are responsible for all drug administration, so your first priority is the bolus of epinephrine that you deliver. Now you need to administer 1.5 kilograms of lidocaine, as that is the only antidysrhythmic that your service currently stocks. How many uh, milligrams are necessary for your patient who weighs 240 pounds? How many preloaded syringes are necessary to satisfy this requirement? And the uh, lidocaine comes in uh, preloaded syringes that are 100 milligrams in 5 mLs. So let's write out all the information that we have. Patient's weight is 240 pounds. Divided by 2 is equal to 120 kilograms. The desired dose is 1.5 milligrams per kilogram. And the concentration we said was 100 milligrams in 5 mLs. So let's put all this in the formula. 1.5 milligram per kilogram times the 120 kilogram over 100 milligrams 5 mL. All right. Uh, I'm going to multiply the 1.5 times the 120. Well, I have 120 up here. I'm going to put 1.5. Let's see. That's uh, 0, 0, 1, and 6. And then I have uh, 0, 2, 1. So 180. Okay. Move over one decimal point. So I have 180 milligrams. And if I reduce this, this becomes 20 milligrams in 5 mLs, oh, in 1 mL. And uh, when I divide the 20 into the 180, that's 9 milliliters. So 9 milliliters is the right amount to draw up. And there was a question here about uh, how many preloaded syringes am I going to need? Well, each preloaded syringe has 5 mLs. I need 9 in total, so I'm going to need 2 
syringes. That's it for this uh, for these weight-based calculations. Uh, the next next set of calculations I'm going to add uh, uh, calculate drip rates. So that'll be in video three. We'll see you there.